And uh, yeah, Neil Young is threatening to quit Spotify um, over because uh, of uh, Joe Rogan's v- various vaccine claims. Yeah. And um, so he. Tell you what, you wouldn't, you know which one you back in a fight <laughs> looking at that picture. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you? So <laughs> it wouldn't be that close. Uh, and um, so I've, I've, every time I sit next to Steve, I, I go into Steve and like, I can't, I can't not do your accent. <laughs> I'm like, okay. hey, it would come close. Uh, so <laughs> he wrote, sorry, mate. But the point is, he wrote a letter on his website that said uh, they can like have Rogan. wearing his hat there. Sorry, or it was young. just yeah. the camera angle there. <laughs> they can have Rogan or young. Yeah, sorry, let me just <laughs> arrange myself. I'm not full anymore. Hey. It's red lock holiday again. And uh, yeah, anyway, so they can have Rogan or young. Not both. Uh, I should point out, Rogan has signed a $100 million deal in 2020, yeah. giving Spotify exclusive rights. It has an estimated 11 million listeners per episode. Uh, Young has 6 million monthly listeners. So if it's between Rogan or Young, yeah. they're going Rogan. If they're going Rogan, and he's the man of the hour, isn't he? Yeah. But it would be a shame. if I think, the, I think the threat has been withdrawn, partly, I believe, because Neil Young doesn't actually own his own catalogue anymore anyway. As oh, really? Like, it's one of those, those, one of those things. He sold it all about, well, it, well several years the ago. The letter yeah. has gone from his website, yeah. and the music is still on I think that may be on, the humiliation he's realised. Yeah. But I feel a bit sorry for him. But at the same time, you know, he, he was a guy who used to question things a little bit more. I understand that, mm. you know, these are extraordinary times. I don't know, what do you think, Steve? Does this seem like a betrayal? Do you have any fondness for Neil? Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, Neil Young. Um, out of the two of them, I mean, I'm, I'm a science-y, vaccine-y type yeah, yeah. person, so I'd, I'd, had, I'd say that for all the listeners that Joe Rogan gets, 270 health experts, including professors, uh, accuse Rogan of spreading COVID misinformation, but then, yeah. again, for balance... Neil Young hasn't been forever in blue jeans, so they both lie. That's Neil Diamond. Oh, okay, yeah. I've got I've got a, I'm going to have to cut your mic there. Oh, oh, sorry, you're Get him out of the studio. <laughs> wrong Neil. This is the gunge moment that falls <laughs> into my head. <laughs> the, no, I would that say... That was the song I proposed to. That was playing in the restaurant in the revolving tower, the, the revolving restaurant at the top of Auckland Tower when I, when I whipped out the ring. On May, 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 <laughs> that's a hell of a way to. I always said Neil Diamond was on that, and he is, of course, he is the ideal troubadour to propose to because his name is in itself a short list of instructions for how to propose. That's Neil Diamond, right? But if if, he, if Young were in charge of his back catalogue, then he yeah. should be able to do this. All the people would be angry yeah, yeah. about this. This, this is a... But this is, I mean, Joe Rogan, but one of his main threads is whether or not Jesus was a mushroom, you know? You know that idea that Jesus... The, the whole idea was, you know, that most of the ancient religious rites were, were based in psilocybin uh, c- c- ceremony, right. that, that hallucinogens were the, the, the mysteries of the ancient Greeks and, and, and the, uh, the very... breaking of bread and all of that kind <laughs> yeah. of stuff. So, you know, yeah. anyone is still taking him seriously... On... <laughs> I do feel annoyed, though, because I read about this in The Times and they, again, are repeating... The, the, essentially, that's misinformation in itself, that ivermectin is a, is a horse dewormer. It's saved millions of lives. It's, it's one of the world's most established human medicines. The, and the presentation of it, I know it may or may not be any yeah. use in terms mm. of coronavirus, but there is a lot of misinformation that comes from the other side in order to, like, uh, push that and undermine it, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. which yeah. is but, annoying. You, know? if you, yeah. you wish there was one place where you, there was a rock you could stand on and, and, uh, and trust it. I think that the horse thing was mentioned more because the source people were going to in America was not buying the human-approved version that is used to treat things. Yeah, in right. Humans. They were getting... I mean, Joe definitely got the human stuff, and there was all that crap about, oh, people's horses are, being, are dying because the vets have run out of horse to... Absolute nonsense. Anyway, I am Team Joe Rogan on that very entertaining show. I base my entire media personality on Joe Rogan these days. <laughs> and I have cast my Neil <laughs> the Young The top of years. your head. That's yes. right. <laughs>